Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at um, crude oil futures today. This is our 240 minute chart. And when we came in this morning, crude, we were on this bar right here at the time. And crude was in an uptrend still. We were making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, pushing up. We had triggered a 240 minute bull flag in the overnight during the London session and uh, crude was working its way higher all the moving averages to the upside however momentum was weakening now we were still bullish the fast and slow line were to the upside and uh, we were positive on our histograms but you can see the difference in height on the histograms. See how much shorter these histograms are versus these? This is telling us we're running out of steam to the upside. However, the trend is up and the pattern is bullish. And we ended up making a pretty decent little push to the upside. We hit significantly overvalued and then crude actually pulled back and kind of he headed down the other way. But we did have some uh, nice bullish action first thing this morning coming in and then we got extended. This is what that looks like on our 30 minute chart. And again, you could see that um, just before the US session, crude had uh, put in this reversal doji right here. Came right down to the power line support, bounced off it, left big bottoming tail, and closed as a reversal doji back to the upside. It triggered. And then right in here's where we came into the U.S. pit open, set up the bull flag, triggered, and then made that push higher, hit significantly overvalued, couple bars in a row, hit significantly overvalued on the 240s, and that was telling us that it's probably time to stop looking at crude on the long side. Here is what that looked like on our Renko chart this morning. And again, crude was bullish. We were making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher low. And right here, right off of the ghost pit open, we had a slow line zero touch, which is indicating that the slow line on MQ momentum was resetting, coming down near the zero line on MQ momentum. The zero line is the line the histograms move above and below. So we had a nice momentum reset, giving us room for uh, momentum to accelerate our trade in the direction we wanted to go. Initial upside target, 74.07, did not hit this on the first push up. But we did get a couple targets, $200 per contract on this push up. We made the pullback, made another momentum reset, this time making a fast line zero touch, fast line on MQ momentum coming near the zero line. That's what this little magenta arrow is indicating. Nice continuation trade on a wick off the 34. And this time we did go up and hit our target to the upside. And the entry on that was at uh, around 73.85 or so. Um, and then, like I said, we pushed up another couple hundred dollars per contract. Now, crude ended up pushing a little higher than that. Um, as you know, we trade to targets here all the time. We were significantly overvalued. We hit our target. Always a good time to take profits or at the very least tighten your stops. So, uh, a couple really nice opportunities in crude this morning um, being confirmed by our higher time frame charts.